Hey, what's going on guys? And today we're going to take a look at the top 10 Minecraft hidden bases and hidden chests. So the way this video is going to work, and I'm going to quickly explain it to you guys how this video is going to work. So number one, first we're going to take a look at the top five hidden bases. That is going to start at that time on the screen. So if you want to go ahead and skip to that because you want to see the five hidden bases, feel free to do so. And then the other half, the last half of the video, we're going to take a look at the five hidden chests. There's also a time on screen for that. So if you're only here to see the five hidden chests, then feel free to skip to that time. Or if you're only here to see the five hidden bases, then feel free to skip to that time. Now I'm going to talk to you guys for a second here. You don't have to listen to this, but I just want to thank you guys all so much for the recent support. It's been absolutely insane. And I also want to let you guys know that um, I have a lot of amazing top videos. And when I say top videos, I mean like top fives, top tens. I mean, you're watching a top 10 right now, top 20 videos. I have some amazing ideas here. I'll, 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 I'll just say this. I have a two-page list. Yes, two-page list of ideas right now for top videos, for Minecraft top videos. So, yeah, I and, and they're really good ideas, too. I'm like, wow, how did I even think of some of these things? Honestly, they're amazing. But I really hope uh, you guys will enjoy these videos that I'm going to pump out within the next two to three months. Well, we Like I said, I have a two-page list sitting next to me. And I just can't wait to make these videos. But then again, keep in mind, I can't just pump them all out because it does take a lot of time to make some of these top videos. You know, it's a lot of editing. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of ideas. It's a lot of how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? But once it's all said and done, it comes together as one amazing video and everyone loves it. So I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel recently. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to quit my rumbling now because I know you guys want to see some hidden bases and some hidden chests. Now, keep in mind, I feel like it would be pretty cool if you like come Combine the both of these so for example um after you watch the hidden bases and then you incorporate the hidden chest into your hidden base so like you make a hidden base and then incorporate your hidden chest into your hidden base and just everything's hidden it's gonna be a great and awesome time i don't know i think that would be really cool to see but uh let me know let me know in the comment section below what you plan to do with these hidden things but anyways guys i'm gonna quit my rumbling here because i know you guys want to see the top 10 hidden bases and hidden chests so hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day and let's go ahead and check out the top 10 minecraft hidden bases and hidden chest. Okay guys, coming in at our number 5 spot is going to be the Hidden Cow Base. Now this one is very simple, you're going to need a lot of sheep, cows, or pigs to cover up the entrance of your base, and you basically just walk over it and kind of find it, and then it just drops down into your base. Very, very simple. Coming in at our number 4 spot is going to be the good old painting trick. Now this one, if it's used well, it can trick some of the best Minecraft players out there. Basically you just slap a painting on the wall, and you can walk through it by destroying the blocks behind it. So, yeah, pretty freaking cool. Coming in at our number three spot is going to be the hidden lava base. Now, you just find a lava stream, you're going to plop down, you're going to put a sign below the lava, and then water so you don't completely kill yourself. It's going to get very close to killing yourself, but it will not kill yourself, and then you drop down into your base. You can see the signs right there. Very, very cool. Coming in at our number two spot is going to be the fishing lava base. You're going to throw a fishing rod in there. It's going to hit some pressure plates, wooden pressure plates to be exact, and it's going to open a hatch, luring yourself into your hidden base. And then whenever you're done, you're going to let go of the fishing rod, and it will close the hatch. Pretty freaking cool. Now let's see how you guys are going to make this. Now the reason I didn't show you how to make the previous couples or the previous three is because they were very, very simple, kind of self-explanatory to make. But this one does involve a little bit of redstone. It took me about five minutes to make, and I am horrible with redstone. So basically, you're going to have all the pressure plates right there. You're going to put them up a block and then surround them with redstone. And then you're going to connect that redstone around there into the piston uh, with the redstone torch and everything. And you're going to throw your fishing rod on the pressure plate, and it will retract the sticky piston. And there you Go, your hidden base is revealed coming in at our number four spot is going to be the transforming cave now, this one is actually made by mumbo jumbo and it is crazy so you're going to set your redstone torch right there and then your base transforms freaking incredible if you guys would like to know more information about this base i did not make it, it is made by mumbo jumbo so in the description when you go to um look at these bases there will be a link to the YouTube video that Mumbo Jumbo made 
uh, kind of describing this base, how it's built, and how it works. Because honestly, I cannot explain to you. Because once you see how much redstone, well, you're about to see it. There you go. There is all the redstone. So if you go to Mumbo Jumbo's video, link in the description, he has a tutorial. Uh, not how to make it, but he explains how it works. So yeah, that is our number one spot. Okay guys, so now we're going to be building the staircase hidden secret vault. This one is really cool and it's the hardest one to build on the list. Now don't get too scared when I say hard. When I say hard, I mean honestly simple. Like look how simple this design is. It is it is so simple. It's it's so simple, it's honestly insane. But the first thing you're going to want to do is of course have a staircase. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, after your staircase is done, go ahead and place a hopper right here, and then you're gonna place a comparator right there. Make sure it's facing that way. Then after that's done, go ahead and place a block and a redstone torch just like so. I'm gonna let you guys catch up a little bit, and in the meantime, I'm going to just destroy all the blocks right here. We're just gonna destroy all these blocks. All of them, all of them. Just get rid of all of them. You don't need, you don't need any of these blocks. Just destroy all these blocks. So after that's done, what you're going to do is very simple. We're going to grab a sticky piston and we're going to place it right there. Nope, that's not right. Wrong way. Right there. There we go. Should be facing up. Then we're going to grab some redstone and just drag it along here. Place another block because we want it to connect to that torch. And you should, just, you should. Oh, yeah. Kit talk right now. You should see your piston connect to your bottom staircase block. So you're almost done. You're you're so close to being done. You have like five more blocks to place. So after that's done, you're gonna place a block right here and a block right here. Very simple. Then place a piece of redstone dust right there. And then we're gonna place a sticky piston facing this way. And you're done. That is it. That is how simple it is. The only thing you need to do next is activate the trap. And, well, not trap, I should say. Uh, hidden secret compartment. It's not a trap. I mean, it could be a trap if you want it to be, but I don't know how this would be a trap. So the way you do that is you just throw a block right here, and you can see it open up, which is pretty sweet. So you can basically uh, just cover all this stuff up. You know, you don't really need to see this. Cover all this up and have it, you know, lead into your secret layer. You don't necessarily have to put chests in here, of course. You can put whatever you want in there. You could lead it into a secret base. Who knows? But when you're done, if you want to close it, go ahead and just take the block out, and it will close. All right, so this next one is the hidden chest in the wall. Very simple and very easy to make. So we're going to grab some powered rails right here. We're going to place about two of them, then place some type of a device, some type of redstone device that will ignite these beautiful power rails, and then place a block right about there. And then we're going to place our minecart with a chest. We're just going to hop on it, make sure it goes off the track just like so. Go ahead and remove these, and you're pretty much almost done. You're, you're so close to being done. So what you're going to do next Place up two blocks, place a piston right about there, then just like so, and then something to power the piston, and it will push the minecart into the block, 
and then you're, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is cover it up, which is very simple and very easy to do. And you can see that it's your, your minecart or your chest is now completely hidden in the wall from, well, not well <laughs> not both sides but um it's not hidden from both sides but one side definitely hidden so if we try to access this you can see you can just literally run up to the wall and just open it like you would a normal chest so i think that is very cool and very creative our next one is the hidden lava chest. Now this one is so, so simple and it might seem so simple that it doesn't work, but I mean, who's gonna go around looking in lava for a chest? I mean, not me, honestly. I would not go around in lava looking for a chest, but there you go, very hidden. All you have to do is run up to it and just click your chest. You don't necessarily have to have a large chest or anything like that. Uh, you can use any type of chest you want. Honestly, you can use a trap chest. You can throw a trap chest in there and put some TNT in there and have your victim blow up. Who knows? And then it will turn into a trap or something crazy like that. But um, yeah, you don't have to worry about your chest or items catching on fire. They will be perfectly fine. But that is very, very simple and easy to do. This one is also very simple and easy to do. It's the chest that's hidden behind the door. It's so simple that no one would even guess it. Honestly, I would not guess it, but we're going to just simply, I don't know, place whatever you want here. You can do a furnace, crafting table, or you can put a chest in here. I'm gonna throw a crafting table and a furnace in here, and we're gonna call this our closet. We're gonna go ahead and place a door right here, and if we place the chest now, you'll actually see it from right here, so you wanna make sure at least these blocks are covered, but that kind of looks suspicious. So we're going to go ahead and cover up all these blocks. So like, for example, if you were to place the chest, like, let's say, let's go in here and let's place the chest. You can see it from the other side. So you want to make sure that's covered up, but it's just so simple and so easy that you wouldn't suspect it because why would you close the door when you're in this, this small of a room? And even if you do close it, you still might not even notice it. Like, honestly, you might, you might still not even notice it, but I don't know. This one's so simple that it could even trick some of the best Minecraft players. But make sure you, of course, break the block above or you won't be able to open your chest. Our next one is the ceiling chest. We're actually doing this on the side of our little closet over here, but this one is so dang simple. Like, so, so simple. You're gonna place a, um, a rail and then you're gonna place a minecart with a chest and you're done. You're done, that's, that's it. That's, that's literally all you have to do. You can place some blocks around it, la-di-da-di-da. -da. And let's say this is your roof here. Let me make it look a little more fancy for you guys. But let's say this is your roof. Minecart's right there. Just go up to it. And sometimes it might be a little tricky to get. That's what I like about this one. But there you go. I got it. It, it works really good on a two-block high house. So, for example, like this. It works a lot better because it's it's so much more easier to get. You just you just click it it's like right there but when you have three blocks high or possibly four blocks high it can be a little hard to reach you can see i can't really get it here but if i jump i can get it all right everyone so i want to thank you guys all so much for watching now i know my intro to this video was pretty dang long so i'm going to keep the outro sweet short and simple i just want to say i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day whether you're watching this at night morning evening afternoon anytime i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I just hope all of you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And with that being said, likes are greatly appreciated. They're just greatly appreciated. If you want to give this video a thumbs up and you liked it, then feel free to do so. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to be notified when my next video is live. And that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later in another Minecraft video.